This is another round of cooking with Jesse. Maybe this time I'll have better luck. Making pub style shepherd's pie, whatever that is. Hello, Calvin, how are you? There's something on my screen that shows like ranking. This is new. Junior crew person, what? I don't know what those things mean. Does anybody know what the bottom right corner of the lives on this app now are? Well, and I ourself, and real self. <laughs> um, junior crew person, zero out of 25,000 points or something, points needed for ranking. What, what is that? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, so, that's brand new. I, I, it's been like only two days since I've done a live and that's brand new. Um, so, I'm doing good. Um, I'm, I had another long day yesterday. I went back into town with my friend to get him his new car um, that I helped him negotiate. And of course, they tried to do the whole financing like extras at the end of it, but it's like last minute fun for me. <laughs> So that was fun. They, it's fun. It, it's a lot of fun. I wish I would have recorded it. I never did though. Um, they probably wouldn't have let me though. <laughs> it was really fun though. It was a lot of fun. Super cute. Aww. Um, hello, hello, King. Um, so I am uh, once again. <laughs> thank you, King. Um, <clears throat> this is the attempt today. I need to uh, mirror it. Hold on. Before you guys get used to this side of the camera. <laughs> I'm making um, pub style, I'm trying to make pub style shepherd's pie, whatever that is, I'm not sure. You're a socialist, congratulations. Um, how was the party? So, um, the one party I went to was fine, um, then the other one I did, um, the first, that was supposed to be the next day, I didn't make it to because I was way too tired. Um, so I ended up sleeping like all day, um, and then yesterday I didn't get much sleep because I went with my friend back to, like a three, three, three and a half hour drive to get his new car that I helped him negotiate that I told you guys the last cooking live I did, cooking attempt live I did. Um, so we went to get his car and he's really happy. Hello, Jinx, how are you? JJ says hello from Vermont. <laughs> hello, JJ. Um, I'll thank you for that. Was you late? I, I was late. I was so late. I was very late. <laughs> um, yes, yes. And then I was trying to make it to my other friend's party, um, but um, they didn't get back to me until after I got back home. And they're like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like really, really drunk. I'm like, okay then. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do like Fruity Pebbles, yes. Um, as, I like all the cereals that have toys in them. <laughs> Hot knees! Hello, Satan! How are you? Um, I'll be back. Okay, sounds good. Um, hi there, Mississippi. Hello. Um, reported, okay. Um, good to, so glad to see you. As You as well, you as well. Um, I am just a party animal, I am. Do you believe people should all be looked after in society? <laughs> this is a cooking show. <laughs> that was funny. One of my friends, the friend that I went with last yesterday to get this car that I helped him get, he was telling me a story about one of our mutual friends, how um, they were on a set and they were driving this, uh, a box truck from one set to another, and the guy that um, was driving in the truck with him didn't say a word the whole time. And it was like a six hour drive, and so like at the four hour mark of the drive, like all of a sudden he's like, so what are your political beliefs? And he's like, oh no, we're not starting that. Like that's not the first thing after four hours, we're not talking about that. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I don't know, I, they just they just said reported, so I don't know, maybe they want to be reported, I don't know. What happened to the white kitchen from last time? The white kitchen? This is the same kitchen I had. Um, Zoran? Uh... Are you available for me? No, I'm not available to anybody. <laughs> I'm available to myself. Um, that's creepy. 
guess what? What? <laughs> Chicken butt. Oh, okay, it's a great spot for a vacuum. It is. It's like it's like the kitchen vacuum, you know, like for like little spills and stuff. It's perfect. Um, that guy has to go. Yeah, he does. Um, neither read the box of the shield. They have poison. They do. Yes, they do. And I and I eat them all up. <laughs> um. No, no. I just make sure I clean it. Um. <laughs> Satan, thank you. You're awesome. Oh, I love it. Here we go again. <laughs> oh my gosh. TikTok is crazy tonight. All right, we're trying to make food. We're trying to make food. Um, yeah, so here we go again. Tonight we're trying to make pub style shepherd's pie, whatever the heck that is. <laughs> So, this time, I have the correct instructions. Okay, can somebody block him? Is anybody on here? Um, uh, um, yeah, trying exactly. Can somebody block um, Hodag for me? Um, do I have any? Alright, you know, I'll just do it. Um... Alright, sweet. Um, I'm not a mod, uh, I need to make you a mod, I guess. Hold on, I don't know how to, I'll, just, I'll figure that out later. I blocked him, it's okay. Uh, fruit, fruit pebbles into, oh my gosh, yes. Can you cook well in the, Timmy, do we need to block you too? Just let me know. Um, professional mod, here's me. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so, I have the ground beef, I have a carrot, some celery, some time. The power of the badge kind of scares me anyway. I don't like cubs. <laughs> That's funny. I have some white cheddar cheese, flour, garlic powder, tomato paste, sour cream, and two things of beef stock, I'm assuming. All oh, these sound good. What time is it, right? I don't got time. And, and we have potatoes. Let's not forget the potatoes this time. And an onion, okay? So that's what we're working with. Let's not forget any ingredients. I have the correct instructions, though. So should be good this time. <laughs> okay, Timmy is definitely blocked then. That, that answers that question. <clears throat> Uh, I feel like some people just like come on here like they want to be blocked. They just want to see how many things they could say before they're blocked. I don't know. It's a weird. It's like a weird fetish. I think with some people, you know, it's weird. I've confused. Wait, I confuse lemons with potatoes all the time. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, Philosophy. Yeah, I just blocked him. Um, I gave him a chance, but he wanted to be blocked. So, well, if this fails, at least you got fruity pebbles. Exactly. Exactly. You're. I'm. I. Yes, yes, this is the second HelloFresh thing I got. Um, I don't know if you, you were on here last, on my last uh, cooking live, cooking live. So I ordered HelloFresh because there was a special with my Acorns account that I have, like in my investments app, and essentially like I would get $35 if I signed up with HelloFresh and it was like a free coupon, so I got to try like six or something, however many free meals. And I would essentially get paid through my Acorns app for subscribing or whatever. So like, oh, it's, you know, I get paid for it technically. Um, and I could, you know, get the food. I thought they were like pre-made food that you just put in the oven or the microwave. I'm like, oh, I could totally do that. would probably be helpful for me. There are ingredients I have to put together. Which is like what I don't do. So, <laughs> we're learning how to cook. <laughs> and you guys are my witness. Um, it is fresh, actually. HelloFresh is actually fresh. It's, it's, honestly, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. Um, I have, I, oh, hold on, DoorDash. Um, the, oh, I keep getting, I'm just surprised, okay. That's what, that's what it is, that he was overachiever, but I'm underachieving myself. <laughs> JJ, you're so funny. Frozen pizzas, yes, I did, I did frozen pizza two nights ago. Um, that's a food company that sends you the meals that you prescribe to the meals. Um, it, but they send you the ingredients and then you have to make it yourself, so... It's just saving me a trip to the grocery store, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, ideally, I just want the food already made for me and I just reheat it, but this is fun. Yay. <laughs> I did have an iron skillet and then the, this guy that I was seeing for a second, nothing serious, thankfully, he ruined it. And I, I didn't even have the energy, so I just tossed it, just tossed it because I know you could save it, but it was really bad. It was really bad. Um, um, thankfully he ruined it. <laughs> that used fruit juices. <laughs> That's creepy. Um, oh, thankfully he ruined it. <laughs> um, I have not been to a food bank or grocery store in eight months. Dang! Like, you just order food? Um, have you ever had braces? When I was really little, I had braces. Um, I didn't get them finished, though. Um, like, my bottom teeth kind of started moving again. And especially because I, like, grind my teeth, like, from stress, it makes them move even more. So my top teeth, thankfully, are still okay. Um, even though I never finished it fully. Um, I had them off early. Um, aw, JJ, thank you! Hello, ingredients should be the name. <laughs> Cast iron is really hard to ruin. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Austin, thank you. <laughs> um, I guess too thrilled my life. Yeah, I try not to. Like, I, I try to be conscious before I go to bed to, like, mentally, like, relax my jaw. And it does work. Like, it just takes a lot of effort. So I just I haven't been doing that lately because I've been so tired. So I just need to, like, start to, like, mentally before I go to sleep, like, focus on not clenching my jaw. And, like, my teeth start to shift back to normal when I don't do that for a while, too, so... Um, hello ingredients, that's so funny. Oh my goodness, thank you for all the roses, Austin. I appreciate that. How the fuck did... Exactly. Yes. Um, uh... <laughs> um, I, I think he had, you know, nothing against people with that by any means. I just think that he wasn't... <sighs> he just did. He just did. <laughs> he did not take it shooting, no. No. I have one for to use it. So. No, he wasn't on drugs. He probably should be. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. But it's true. <laughs> I wrote everything t I touched to even my match. Oh, Zorian. Hugs to you. Everybody send hugs to Zorian. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this this is the I have the ingredients in our instructions to cook this thing up. You just didn't want to the cube. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's so true, though. It's so true. Good book, but type slowly. That's good. I type fast, but I cook terribly. <laughs> oh my lord. For Dr. Green soda, we don't have that here. You don't have this in Canada? Oh my gosh! And here I thought Canada was doing all right. Finally. <laughs> um, my day has been okay. I woke up, um, because I didn't get home until like four in the morning again because I was with my friend three and a half hours away getting his car for him, his new car that helped him negotiate and buy on the last, that I to told you guys about on my last cooking stream, um, that I'm doing now. So that's my second one I'm doing ever. So you're welcome. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> Notice how nobody sent me hugs. What? Seriously. I, I sent you hugs. I sent you hugs. Um, you just say hug. Hug. Alright, I don't know. I just sent a hug. Um, I'm getting so confused. Um, what ingredients did he send you? Or HelloFresh send you? Um, so, I have the ground beef, the tomato paste, two beef stock packages, sour cream, uh, some potatoes, an onion, flour, garlic powder, white cheddar cheese, thyme, carrot, and some celery. Um, this is all to make a pub style shepherd pie. So, that is of course, if that happens. Um, <laughs> um, for instance, to send me American sweets, you know what you need? You need some, as far as sweets goes, you need, um, Switzerland friends to send you sweets because if you've been to Switzerland, the chocolate there, it's not, it, there's a reason it's Swiss chocolate. Holy heck is it different. Pub style, that's what it says, that's what the bag says, it says pub style uh, 
shepherd's pie. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Uh, I, all I do know is that these ingredients will be in there somehow. People actually cooking. We're actually cooking something. <laughs> Hugs, I guess. Awesome. Just saying. Guinness? Guinness? Guinness what? <laughs> Swiss friends welcome. Chocolate and... Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, as usual, per my cooking lives, I did not read the instructions ahead of time. I like to think of it as an adventure. Okay. <clears throat> so, last time it took me four hours <laughs> to... <laughs> and I desperately leaned on your guys' help and assistance. On one hand, it was mostly because I didn't have the correct instructions for the cooking. So, Irish. There we go again. Can you read that recipe like a book that should be amazing, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, sometimes when I cook, I go random amounts. Yeah, I try that and it never works out. Um, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I, yeah, road trips are amazing. Fuck maps. <clears throat> All right, so as anybody who was there on my last cooking live, it took about approximately four or five hours uh, for me to successfully cook something. I will say also, besides not having the proper instructions, so that did mess me up, um, and I did talk for like an hour about my negotiation skills uh, with the car I helped my friend get. So three hours. This says it takes 15 minute prep time and 50 minutes total. This should not take me more than an hour total, okay? <laughs> I'm serious, wait, what do you say this about? Um, I'm serious, what did you say serious about that? Can you, oh, <laughs> you're serious about me reading it like a book? So three hours, so there's no time frame on the recipe, that's awesome, yes, exactly. Um, me, McCoy Maples? No, I don't. I was just reading what the person said in the, in the chat here. If you if you were looking at the comments, I desperately depend on maps. <laughs> hey, Jake, how are you? Welcome to my cooking live. All right, guys, place your bets now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't be that fun. Wouldn't that be a fun recipe? It's like a book of it take like six or eight days to get a couple, <laughs> a couple chapters. That would be amazing, like the slow cooker. <laughs> Sixteen minutes if you know what to do for every instruction and you aren't entertaining. Exactly. See, okay, there we go. I did pay attention to my own comment. There, yeah. See. So I don't know what you're saying. No, I do not pay attention. Yes, I do pay attention to maps. I, I depend on maps incredibly. I bet we ruined another cast iron pan. <laughs> All right, let's let's get cooking. Going on, please continue. <laughs> I do need to get this done under four hours because once again I'm going to try to stream on Twitch tonight because I missed yesterday's because of my whole um, car road trip thing. You don't use recipes for an adventure, but you won't go rapless. <clears throat> no, I use the recipes for an adventure. That's 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 the thing. Is I'm using I'm using the recipe for an adventure. If I don't use recipe, like I don't, I, there's no cooking. <laughs> like there's just no cooking. Um, that's the fun part. Is when I use a recipe, it is still an adventure. You were here the last cooking live, so you should understand what I mean by that. You know how this goes. Not yet. Not yet. I did not read the instructions yet. I'm about to. I'm about to. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> oh, crap. <laughs> so I'm reading, like, the, the beginning, where it tells you, like, the prep time, the calories, the total time, and then it says difficulty hard. Considering I can't do the easy recipes with ease. Do we have any professional chefs in this? In the comments? I'm gonna need help. In the picture of the puzzle. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Make it soup. It's easy. You say that, but I just confirmed how I, I can't even do the easy ones. Easy to me is making cereal. And if you guys saw my uh, TikTok post the other day, um, I did an easy recipe of making Cocoa Krispy cereal. <laughs> I almost just snored everywhere. I actually almost happened to cook. Um, in Disney in the Northwest. Nice! I do have ramen. I do have ramen. I can make ramen. Oh my gosh, now you picked a perfect recipe to go with it. West Virginia, hello! Uber Eats. Um, yeah, I'm, ab I'm about to at this point. I haven't even started. All I see is difficulty hard. And I'm like, well, order in it is. <laughs> Let's just use it. You know what, Satan? You're right. Let's let's try this. Who would I be if I didn't at least try, right? You know? All right. <clears throat> All right. No matter the weather, we firmly believe. Oh, that's just something silly. Okay, we got gold, Yukon gold potatoes, whatever that means. Celery, thyme, one fourth ounce. Sour cream, tomato paste. Flour, white cheddar cheese, carrots. Yellow onion, garlic powder, ground beef, beef stock concentrate. I'm going to need cooking oil, which we've established last cooking that my olive oil is fine. And butter, which I have, and I have salt and pepper. All right. I'm going to need a peeler. I have one. I'm going to need a medium pot. Um, is that a medium pot? I'm just gonna say yes. Cook on stove top on low for an hour. <laughs> See here, pepper too. Oh my goodness. Um, I, you see, I'm a pepper. <laughs> um, all right, and a strainer. So far, so good. Like, I'm feeling confident right now. So far, so good, guys. I got these things. This is a medium. <laughs> um, in a medium pan. Oh, you guys! I have another skillet. Iron skillet. I don't know which one he ruined. Oh, he ruined the iron grill skillet thing or whatever. I have an iron, like, skillet still. Um, So I'm just like I'm just gonna this is really the only pan I have so I'm just gonna use that it's kind of large but that's you know working with what we got you need peeled potatoes or carrots oh boy <laughs> the irony <laughs> how would your olive oil not be fine that stuff doesn't go bad you're freaking nailing this one JJ thank you um wait the olive oil should be fine olive oil doesn't go bad does it or like not for a while um they do go up Branson. A coma? What? You're saying word. I like your words, funny man. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Remember cooking terms? I don't know. Basics, I know. You are just the funnest person I've ever heard. Enjoy me that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, cooking steps. Okay. Step one. Heat broiler to high. I have an oven. This is step one, guys. It's not going good. <laughs> I thought so too. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> um, heat broiler to high. Yeah, it should have a setting that has broil. Sh ugh, okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. I've never done broil before. Ooh, custom broil. Okay, so it says custom broil. What do I need to do? If, like, is it just... Okay. Is there something special I need to do for the broil setting? 
Do I need to put the rack somewhere special? Do I... Is not baked, it's the top burner. So it's on the stove. It's on top? The oven, we... Okay, hold on. Okay. A broil is not baked, it's the top burner. Yes, it should have a setting that has broil. It does. It's preheating. Turn it on. Yes, the oven. When you turn it on to broil, that turns the element on top on so it heats top down. Okay. Cook me up some dinner. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> it's very hot. We'll burn the top of things. Oops. Fast. No. Already, we're, we're already debating each other. Guys, I need a straight answers. <laughs> the oven has a burner on the bottom and top. Okay, let's... Bottom, and I, t I see a top. Okay, so it's the top part that will turn on inside. So I, it's, I'm going to be putting it inside the oven. So I'm assuming I need to... There's a... The rack is on top. Like, it's on the top rack. So I'm assuming that's correct. Maybe it'll tell me. Maybe I just need to finish reading the instructions and... Who said that I'm going to scroll down and see, but yeah, the broil, yes. <laughs> the oven has a burner. Okay. Broiler, yes. Okay. Sorry, cooking meat is my specialty. Hey, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. I just need to make sure I'm listening to the people who are telling me the right things. <laughs> Last time it was rough. <laughs> That's correct. On top rack and, and got to lower it if you want to boil less. Okay. Turn it on to broil. You'll see the element turn red. Usually use oven with center rack okay let me read ahead to see if it tells me where to put the rack because I don't want to like move it when it's already hot No, wait, I'm so confused because I don't see, I'm seeing that I'm cooking it on the stove top though, so I don't know why the, uh, heat a drizzle for four servings, use a large preferably oven proof pan over medium high and add carrot seasoning, cook serene. Dude, I understand why they said it's hard. It's not necessarily hard to make it. It's just the ingredients are hard to read, or the instructions are hard to read. If it doesn't have anything in the instructions on where to put the rack, just put it in the middle. Okay. Do not hit oven cleaner when you insert the meat. <laughs> that's funny. You'll see. Okay. Um, that's funny. I second that motion. No clean setting. Not the destination. Oh, it's gonna be a journey. That's that's you got that right. You're going to have to broil it after to make this stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, like I don't see where it says to put it in the oven so far, but I'm just skimming, so I might be missing it. Okay, <clears throat> heat broiler to high wash and dry produce. Dice potatoes into half inch pieces. Strip time. Leaves from stems, roughly chop leaves, trim, peel, and half. I remember now. This is not fun. <laughs> this will have multiple steps. Lots of prep. Cook this on top. Okay, I'm not having fun already. Trim, peel, and half carrot lengthwise. <sighs> Place potatoes in a medium pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches. Bring to a boil on the stovetop and cook till. I'm assuming on stovetop. Till tender, 15 to 20 minutes, drain and return potatoes to pot, mash with sour cream. Do I have a masher? I think I do. Um, drain and return potatoes to pot, mash with sour cream, tablespoon butter, two tablespoons in one, chop time until smooth, creamy, adding splashes of water as needed. What is this, like a water park? Season generously with salt and pepper, keep covered off heat until ready to serve. While potato cook, heat a drizzle, of boil in a medium, preferably oven proof pan. Okay, so there's an oven proof pan, so I'm assuming like that's intended to be in the oven at some point. But it says preferably. Use a large, um, over medium high heat, and this is I'm assuming on the stovetop, 
Add carrot season with salt and pepper. Cook stirring until slightly soft in two to three minutes. Add celery, onion, and a large drizzle of oil. <sighs> season with salt and pepper. Cook stirring until veggies are just tender. Five to seven minutes. Tip veggies begin. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Add beef to pan with veggies. Season with salt and pepper. Cook breaking up meat into pieces until browned and cooked through 46 minutes. Add tomato paste and flour. Cook stirring until thoroughly combined. Okay. Cooking or gradually pour half cup water into pan with beef mixture. Stir in stock concentrate and bring to a boil. Cook until mixture is very thick. Turn off heat, taste and season. If tip, if your pan isn't oven-proof, transfer mixture to a baking dish. Okay. Top beef filling with an even layer of mashed potatoes, leaving a one-inch border around edge of pan. Evenly sprinkle with cheddar. Broil until browned. Through. Okay, so that's where the broil comes in. How long does it take for it to, like, um, warm up the broil? Because I feel like with all those steps, that's going to be like an hour of prep. So maybe I should wait, like... And not do that in the very beginning. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's start time is already. Yes, it is. Brothers, sour cream, and chives. Absolutely. There's no time for that. Pyrex. Yeah, I don't think I have. Wait. I do. Aha. Oops. Okay, that's just gonna go there. I have Pyrex. Okay, that's going there. But you can't really, you can't cook this on the stove though, so I'd have to just transfer it like it said. I'm trying to cook pub style shepherd's pie. <laughs> um, ramen it is, exactly. Um, <laughs> shepherd's pie is a meat and veggie stew with mashed potatoes on top, then broil to brown the potatoes. Philosophy, you're so smart. Like that is exactly what it seems to be. Um, if I send you some wonderful novels to read for us, would you accept them as a gift and read them? Um, depending on, uh, oh shit, I forgot I was supposed to do Monster Camp, uh, streaming tonight with my friends. I have an hour. Okay, um, give me one second to respond to them. I mean, you know, before, um, one of my faves. This is the perfect baking container. Yes, it's so hot and then it's going to shut itself off. Yeah, so I don't want to like do it, you know, too early, you know. Um, what? <laughs> JJ, what? <laughs> that was the most random, like, <laughs> in his tour bus. <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> All right, I'll just do the broiler. We're gonna try to hurry this up because I forgot that I was supposed to wait to high. What's high? Like, it says custom broil, but it doesn't tell me, it says 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, it doesn't say a temperature. Go up, broiler to high. Oh, that's as high as it goes. Never mind. Okay. Just dice everything up into a saucepan, add water to cover up, put a lid on it, and set it in stove top one hour. <laughs> Custom broiler like... F okay. Okay, okay. Next is wash and dried produce. Okay. I'm use... Okay. Putting all the produce... Onion count? You wash the onion? I don't know, I have to dice an onion, that's not going to be cool. When, when I was in college, I was um, in a chemistry class, and learning about chemistry as I did, I was cooking at home, chopped dice an onion, and I, I learned to put on my chemistry goggles, my lab goggles, didn't bother me at all. <laughs> Alright now, and set it in the fridge. Peel the onion, no need to wash. It was outside... Of Della said produce meat. No, I'm not gonna cut myself. This photograph one time down in Louis. This will make it to where you don't cry. Okay. Um, so I don't need to peel or to wash the onion. 
I'll just cut it in half now and then um, put it in the fridge. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Uh, is there a certain way you're supposed to cut an onion? Like this way? Or this way? <laughs> That's key. Yeah, okay. okay, I didn't know that. It won't. Okay, I'm just gonna. I guess cut it this way. That was the right choice. nice set and they're all different parts of the world images and this is like a fall a beautiful fall uh red trees leaves. um the broiler's not it's only to brown the top after oh, okay but it said to preheat it i said heat broiler to high that's step one now i have to wash and dry produce okay i'm gonna wash that salt that you guys told me to add into washing it last time. I mean, I thank you for sure. Yes, of course. Oops. It's called uh, to get only salt. Oh, okay, I got you. It is uh, 6.30 here. Go to Greenland. Ooh, Greenland. Nice. What do you do when you're putting something in the oven? Not yes, exactly. Okay. Let me. Okay, so next up is to dice potatoes into half inch pieces. So I'm gonna do that. Do I have to peel them? It doesn't say to peel them yet. I guess that peeling is something else. So I don't know. Um Greenland's gonna be amazing. I haven't been there. Um. <laughs> I'm not even stressed yet. <laughs> this is my natural state of stress. It gets worse. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and watch for smoke. <laughs> I'm so good at cooking, even the smoke alarm cheers me on. <laughs> okay, okay, let's try. Alright, so dice. Okay, so like, I guess I'll start in the middle and dice my way out. And I don't, I, there's probably a better knife, I don't know, like, there are some people in the last comment, or the last live I was doing that was criticizing my knife choices. If it cuts, it cuts, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not at all trying to claim I'm a professional. I am, I think I'm making it quite clear I have no idea what I'm doing. So, just, just. Stick around for the show. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. I know I am. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> That's what 
I do. <laughs> I do things wrong. <laughs> but you think the broil is going to make her oven smoke? She doesn't cook. <laughs> There's no ways to cut it with your hand. <laughs> There's nothing in here going to burn off. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of better ways, probably ideal ways for me to do these things, and I'm just doing them. The end effect, the, the end result is all I'm going for at this point. <laughs> like, you think I think I'm trying here? I mean, I am trying, but you think like I think I'm going to do well? No. <laughs> At least the potatoes are getting done this time. That's all I care about at this point. They're getting done. And then... We're getting, I feel like this is going a lot faster than the last uh, cooking, questionable cooking live. Okay, so we're gonna try it this way now. See, so I'm just trying different, different things. Seeing what works. Also because I can't remember how I did it last time. <laughs> Each potato was a different experience. <laughs> And thank you, oh, thank you, Satan. Um, use your other hand to put pressure. Too late. I already screwed up. That's just how it's gonna go. <laughs> I won't cut myself. I'm like, put your hand above the knife. Yeah, the, yeah. I was kind of doing that sometimes. All right. Next is strip thyme leaves <clears throat> from Stems. Did I put the potato somewhere? Um, where am I putting these things? Medium pot, okay. I'm just gonna put all the potatoes in a pot so they're out of the way. <laughs> I learned this trick from Ferengo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Follow, oh, thank you for the follow. Cooking blade should always be pretty sharp. It should be, yes. As you push. I don't know. They haven't told me to... Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Um, it is both sharp and pretty. Like, it's supposed to be both. Um, what, where was the other one? Uh, yes, they are pretty. And they are sharp, too. They're pretty sharp as well. Um... The water, they haven't told me to add water yet, so I'm just following the instructions. <laughs> um, dice potatoes, I did that, stripped thyme leaves. Okay, now I need to do this and roughly chop leaves. Okay. I wish it told me where to put them. Um, it doesn't tell me where to put the thyme leaves yet. So I guess I'll just keep it in a little container until I'm ready. Home run play on one. You read your instructions before doing it, or are we doing it on the fly? We're doing it on the fly. Um, all right. Aw, thank you, Satan. Okay. So, we're stripping the leaves. <laughs> okay. And I know somebody told me how to do it the other way. Is this, like, it's really difficult, actually, like, at least on these little ones. Nope, it's still getting the stems. Um, do I have to do indi each individual? This is hard. There we go. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that slide your fingers. I'm trying, but they're, um, they're like little, you know, like they're multiple leaves, and so it's like you can't just grab one because then like you bring the others down, you know? So, I'm just going to use my nails, I think. Nope, that doesn't work either. I don't know what I'm doing. 
They're like little bamboo leaves, though. Or like trees. They're like miniature bamboo. Doesn't it kind of like miniature bamboo? <laughs> Scrape upward from the bottom to the top. Upward from the bottom. Okay. That's what I'm trying. Okay, that does work a little bit better with these. The, the rosemary, it worked better to do from the top to the bottom, but these ones are definitely easier from the bottom up. Honestly, the, the stems are like really easy to tear off, so it's like hard to not also get the stems in here. They're like super fresh, I guess. Okay, there we go. I just have to do it like slowly, I guess. I don't know. It was hard. So it stems and all. Fuck that. Put it through one of those trees. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know if I have ones that are small enough, though. Oh, those trees are small enough. That's a good idea. Let's see if it works. I'm willing to try anything. This is gonna take a long time though. Oh, oh, I guess this way. This is gonna take forever. Nope, doesn't work. Good, good try though. <laughs> um, grab a stock of it and use your blade to scrape it. Okay, I'll try that. Like upward or downward? Like from the top down or from the bottom up? <sighs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> let's let's try let's try that. Oh, nope, that just cut the stem, like. Nope, nothing is working. The stems just keep coming off with the leaves. Bottom, well, I'll just keep trying to get the, you know, as much as I can. Cause like the stem is just so, um, fresh still. Like it's really difficult to separate the leaves from the stem. Except for like the bottom part. The bottom part's easier. Maybe if I just get the whole bunch and just do this a bunch. Just get what I can quickly. And not worry about being specifically detailed. I'm getting every single the perfect. Yep, yep, they just keep breaking off. Them. That's kind of working. Just have to like get the stems out of there once they come out. It's a mess. There's probably a better way to do this. I just, I'm trying. I'm trying. I mean, the stems in your food. There isn't okay. Tell the tilt the top away. I was trying to do that, but it literally cut the stem with it. Like the stems are so soft. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I had to. I had to. It's taking a lot of time. Preparing time takes time. Ooh, I got that one. That one cooperated. I think like the bottom part of the stem where it's like stronger, it works to scrape it like that, but like the very top part of it, it's just way too soft and it breaks. But okay, I just need to start, I just need to get the bottom parts of it where it's not falling apart as easily when I try to, that's what I'll do. That's the plan, that's the plan. Tiny little leaves, you know? Like, look how tiny they are. Next time you can buy seasoning in little jars. Well, it comes with it. It comes with it. And tastes like time to. Oh, okay. So the tips don't matter if, of the stem because it's pretty much like the same thing. Okay. That's good to know. Just make sure I don't get the 
bottom part of the stem in there because that's not the great tasting part then. Almost done ish. Okay, it's going a little faster. I'm getting a process down now. Getting process down. Just take some time, you know, to figure it out. Just, there's so many. Like, I don't eat crab, but if I did, I feel like this is what it's like to eat crab legs. Like, it's just so tedious to get a little bit. You know? You left. Oops. Okay, so like that's the best I'm going to do, I think, with this. things out and move it all into here. Oh, I think I'm supposed to chop it though. <sighs> roughly chop leaves. Okay, so I'm supposed to roughly, roughly chop them. Okay, roughly chop. Got it. Where are you guys at? On a time limit because she has switched me. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let me get my anxiety in this dress, baby. <laughs> You're going to need them. Everyone tap the screen. Oh, thank you, Frango. Um, I am trying to make pub style um, shepherd's pie. Um, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's a woody, woody tupper. <laughs> Just break it and use the stems at times. Ah, the stem type tip is tender. Okay, so, um. <sighs> Why, Wolf? Hello! Hello, how are you? So, I need to roughly chop the time. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know what roughly means. Uh, yes, we did. Um, cool, we right over. I told you to give me a warning. I figured that it was best just to let you find out. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this, is this, so uh, if anybody was on my last cooking live, when it used words, like roughly, in cooking, it means one thing. I don't know those ways. I don't know what it means in cooking. So when I see the word roughly, chop leaves, I think of the traditional roughly. Is there a different kind of roughly that I'm supposed to chop like? <laughs> it says roughly chop leaves. So just chop it. So like, like that? Cause that's rough, you know, like, ah, and I'm done? Is that, is that what I'm doing? On oh, the time lease is cut a leaf in half. See, why can't they just say that? That makes sense. <laughs> Roughly chop versus cut the half leaves in half. Why can't they say that? Do they not know what the definition of roughly means? <laughs> yep, you're done. <laughs> 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 
that's pretty much it. Okay, um, I'll just roughly chop sporadically, okay? Okay, I mean, I guess that's it then, huh? Alright, so that's there, I guess. Yay. I was in the other room, but I heard you chopping. I might have to cut you off. <laughs> tap, tap everywhere. All right, so the next one is trim, peel, and half carrot lengthwise. Slice crosswise. I'm just going to read this for you guys instead of trying to. <clears throat> trim, peel, and half carrot lengthwise. Slice crosswise into one fourth inch half thick half moons. What? Half carrot lengthwise. Got that. Slice crosswise into one fourth inch thick half moons. It's a carrot. It's a carrot. Finally, die. Yeah. It sounds important, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I thank you for the rose. I'm not really sure that matters, but it's sucks. <laughs> Please broken up a bit. Release the flavor. Oh, that makes sense over the time. Oh, there's things that like the mo are automatic. I don't know what this is. I have points now. I have five thousand nine hundred eighty points out of twenty five thousand. I don't know what this means. Does anybody like it's in the bottom right corner of my screen on my TikTok live? And it's something that's brand new. Junior crew person next level i don't understand what that is um okay you know what? i'm just gonna i'm just gonna trim which i means that like cut the ends off right you don't see it I, I don't know what it means i have points though it's like adding up while i'm on the live here so i don't know what it means maybe it's like the more that people are like liking it i don't know oh, honey you don't know how to cook do you that's the point of this. <laughs> this is not an instruction. This is not an instruction video live. <laughs> this is watch me fail. <laughs> you can mince the carrot as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, it is not a secret. It is not a secret. Not at all. Um, this is more of a cooking live to see how quickly I end up ordering DoorDash. And any of the gifts that you send me help fund, help fund my purchase of DoorDash food when I, in the end, mess this up. Ah, crap. I just tossed the carrot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, okay. Got this. I got this. Okay. I got it peeled. <laughs> if you cut the tip off, it makes it just cut. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Okay. Um, <laughs> not going to fail your cooking. It doesn't matter what you do. It's still a carrot. <laughs> That's like a life quote right there. It doesn't matter how bad you fail. It's still a carrot. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> cut it in half the long way. Then. Okay. Okay, so I'm cutting it in half lengthwise. <laughs> in my defense, it wasn't straight. <laughs> Work at the moon just dies it up with little discs. How quickly you've changed your mind. <laughs> And then, okay, I see, I see what it's trying to tell me. Okay, so, like this. Okay. And they're little, like, half mints. I see. See, why do they try to confuse me like that? See, that's why it says difficult T hard. Because it's the instructions that don't make any dang sense. Like, how hard is it to say, cut it lengthwise, and then dice it, you know, up one-fourth inches? And just leave it at that. Why do you gotta like make it confusing? Automatic. It's a magic. Okay, I had to breathe before watching this. I was only explaining to you the moons. <laughs> Alright, I got the carrot down. Now, 
finely diced celery, half peel and finely, okay, so that's, okay, finely diced celery. Celery is right here. Okay. gonna be it's like um, Bob Ross cooking style um, happy little accidents <laughs> oh good I need a stretch oh my goodness it sounds crunchy that lengthwise cut gave me a heart attack it did me too shit baby hurry Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay. Um, next is finally chop onion, which I put in the fridge like you guys told me to do. So hopefully that works. One part of the onion. And okay, okay, so far so good. This is easy. <laughs> Do onions under cold water? She's doing onions, I know. They told me to cut up an onion in half and put it in the fridge, and it should not be cry the crunch though do onions underwater it's still celery it's your last life <laughs> oh my gosh if you push um so cut the onions up underwater you're gonna share my life and do it <laughs> do it i'm just gonna try because i put it in the fridge so you know and if I cry, I cry. It's not like I've never cried before, you know? <laughs> so at least when I'm crying, you guys can't tell if it's from the onions or just pure defeat. <laughs> if you're going to cry, then we are all going to cry. Hello, my friend. Uh, we meet again. It's been a long while. We begin seems like forever. All right, so I cut them. <coughs> Finally chop onion. Is there like this? Okay. Um, is there like a center of the onion you're supposed to cut out, I guess? I don't know, I see something. Oh, that's like the seed or something? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. That just, I'm just doing things, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You, you can't be defeated. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just gonna, I guess. This is my own style, so um, I like to call it, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna, <laughs> um, Happy Little Accidents, that's just what I'm going with. This is the Happy Little Accidents cooking show. Okay, so then I'm just gonna roll them all over and start chopping. It's just, you know, we see what happens. We, we just do things and then we see what comes from it. We see what happens. 
an adventure. the water getting everywhere like I don't have like a, a underwater cutting board you know I'm crunching a chef in training. Picture this, you, me, beach, sunset, and tacos. As long as I'm not making the tacos. <laughs> what a wonderful onion dicing episode, that's why. <laughs> oh my goodness, wasn't it? Wash hands in cold water and rub them on a spoon like it's bar of soap and cut and it's starting. <laughs> Go wash your hands, okay. Sounds like your plan. Got it. Don't touch my eyes. Got that down. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> oh my god. Make our all thank you. Thank you, I. I. <laughs> No, JJ's fine. JJ's fine. <laughs> JJ's JJ's not like that. At least so far I've seen. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I just chased an onion. Come on, Madra. I'm actually the only one having fun here. <laughs> yeah, Franco. Uh, JJ's fine. He's he's been. Our, they, JJ's been on here for a while. And good, good sport, good company. I used to work at Subway, and let's just say I had to wash my hands over for fun time. <laughs> oh my god, that would not be cool. Just right by me, because we will burn a touch by onion sauce. <laughs> You're fine, JJ. I didn't take that offensively or anything. Um, okay. I finally chopped onion. I did. Place potatoes in the medium pot with enough salted water to cover. Okay, I need, I need to do that now. Okay. 
still trying to see. Can't see still. Pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches, bring to a boil. Okay, um, till tender, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting Drain and return potatoes to pot, mash with cream, sour cream. What would I do for the 15 minutes while I'm waiting? While potatoes cook, heat a Drizzle of oil in a medium pan. A drizzle. Remember where we're at? Um, I did put the salt in. The kings don't burn your girl up after... S Seriously! Like, have some consideration, okay? <laughs> it is warm. The oven is warm. <laughs> okay, a, a drizzle. Um, pan. Is this oven proof, I wonder? I don't know how you tell if it's oven proof or not. Some of these cars going. Okay. Drizzle. Drizzle. It's a <laughs> um, the recipe is um, I don't know how to send it easily. I have I'm looking at it on my app, the HelloFresh app. It's the um, pub style shepherd's pie. She set the oven to broil 32 minutes ago because it told me to. It, the instructions told me to do it right away. <laughs> okay, so next, um, heat a drizzle oven for, for four sir, um, over medium heat, medium high heat. Add carrot seeds. Okay, so this one, dual medium high. And then I add the carrots, season with salt and pepper, okay? Just the carrots. I put, I kind of put the carrots and celery together, whoops. Okay, putting the carrots in. My eyes are slowly recovering. I gotta go see if I'm gonna say white wolf. Plastic candles are not even usually even safe. Okay, that's what I was kind of figuring. Um, words for dinner. Yeah, uh, pub style shepherd's pie. That's the idea. <laughs> um, especially at Rolls That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, so cook stirring until lightly softened two to three minutes. Hey Siri. Set a timer for two and a half minutes. Okay, two minutes and 30 seconds and counting. I have multiple timers. Okay. Ooh, they're starting to sizzle. And then... So after two and a half minutes, I add the celery, onion, and a large drizzle of oil, and then more salt and pepper. Okay. Okay, I, I'm, I think I'm getting this. The... <laughs> I know, that's why I was like, should I do it now? And then some of you said to do it now. And then, so I just did it, because that's what the instructions said, and people in here were saying to. Um, especially at broil tips, yeah. Um. Aw, thank you, Frango. I appreciate that. 
I mean, I, try, I put in a little effort today, you know? input today. I'm just going to see the Super Chef Baby. <laughs> I'm doing okay so far. And this is apparently a level difficult. Uh, the difficulty is hard on this one. Uh, when I'm able to live, go live, we will cook together. Sounds good. Are you not able to go live? I thought you got, I thought you reached a thousand. Can everybody go uh, follow Frango so that he can get a thousand and go live? And if anybody else in here that isn't a thousand yet, um, speak up and please everybody just click their name and hit the follow button. You don't have to leave the live or anything. It just, it pops up and you hit the follow button right then and there. And whatever these points are, junior crew person, I have 5,980 points out of 25,000. So whatever you guys are doing to get me up there, then, then, you know, maybe I could tap on and it shows me what it is. Oh, reach for the stars. Campaign timeline, November 1st to 7th. Oh, timer done. Um, so I can add this stuff now. Um, let me finish reading it. Cause I tapped on it and it, and it popped up like telling me what it is. So that's awesome. I'm going to finish reading it. What it is to you guys. Some sort of campaign. And if it's a campaign, I want to win. Campaign timeline, the 1st of November to the 7th, complete missions to receive rewards, junior crew person, avatar frame expires, specific time, random planet gift, special gift equals 20 points, astronaut gift, special gift equals 5,980 points. Um, oh, so it's like gifts, but like if you send certain gifts, they have certain bonus points, like the, the random planet gift and the astronaut gift gives me extra points. And then... Um, So it's, it depends on the gifts that you guys send me, I think. Um, Champion Avatar's Frame $60 gift card reward. What? Dude, you guys. Like, if you guys send me gifts, like, it'll help give me bonuses to where I can get rewarded from the app and get gift cards. Um, three Avatar Frame, 30 gift card reward. Um, dude, that's so cool. Rules. Live activity timeline, uh, live activity timeline, how to play for live creators, how to obtain titles, um, planet gift and astronaut gift. Dude, you guys, that is so cool. My, my packs? What's my pack? Planners are a new thing. So I guess, um, she's gonna add pretty pebbles to it, yeah. I lie, 134. I'm almost 130. Yay! Okay, yeah, everybody go follow everybody that is not at a thousand yet. Um, and also, if anybody wants to send me gifts, um, they have like a competition going on right now, I guess, on TikTok for creators that have lives. And you guys already got me to almost 6,000, but I need to reach 25,000. Um, and then, like, the, I guess, the planet gifts and the astronaut gifts are bonus double points or something. So that's freaking cool. 25% carrots and celery. Exactly. How? You're so good, Chevy. That's exactly what it is. And like 2% oil and 1% salt and pepper. <laughs> it does smell good. That's 
a lot of onions. I hate onions. I like onions when they're cooked and like they're sweetened, like with butter and stuff. It's ready to get go to one thousand. Nice and Jay. I mean, that's like you just you must have just like started. So everybody, please follow everybody just to help them out to get to one thousand so they can go live. Caramelized, yes, but I do like caramelized onions. I do. So I don't know how much time left on here, but I am cooking, uh, trying to pub style shepherd's pie. I'm attempting. So far, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I feel like I'm doing better than the last time. I always hate taste of raw onions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, raw onions, no. Um, and so, so, yeah, everybody in here, if you are able to and want to, apparently there's a TikTok competition going on. And um, if you send me the, the gifts that are planets or astronauts, um, I can rank up and get uh, good rewards from the app. So if I'm entertaining you. Yeah. It's refutably Shepherd's Pie. <laughs> That's amazing. Make sure you saute your, did I see you're cooking, what, sorry, my internet cut out. Um, pub style shepherd's pie, whatever that is. A lot of veg vegetables are included. Vegetables, is there anxiety, an anxiety, there is. Um, the contest is how many planet gifts and astronaut gifts I can receive and hopefully, I, yeah, it is a HelloFresh meal. I, I, it's my first time. I, I did not, I did not expect this. I thought, I thought it was something very different. <laughs> I had to keep them vegetated. I'm, I'm starting to feel vegetated at this point. <laughs> Yeah, so if everybody can send like one astronaut or one planet in this, it can maybe I'll see if I can like reach the next level. Because I think the first level, I the TikTok app sends me a sixty dollar gift card if I reach the first level, which that will help me go towards my funds of ordering DoorDash. <laughs> Thanks a lot when you read to me, my dog takes naps and aw, it's whining because, oh no, it just hurts, I'm going to eat, I'm so sorry. Me neither. Well, this is my second one, I lied. This is my second one, and so far this is going a lot smoother than my last one, I'll tell you that much. Um, okay, that's done, so now that that's done, what do I do next? Um, add beef to the pan with veggies. Okay. Add the beef. Cook breaking up meat into pieces until brown and cook through 46 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna admit some, like, at, kind of at this point, it's a little fun now. Not as, not as much anxiety at this point. I'm gonna go left in here.
Let's go! Can't believe these gifts on here cost real money. People on here are poor. Yeah, and it's only if every it's only for people who want to, and it's just to support us. That's all. Um, let's go! Hello, Chile. Bringing you entertainment. Tips are welcome. Not expected. <laughs> No need to be apologizing. I'm trying to. Hey, I'm poor too. No, no worries. It's only for those who can and are wanting to. That's it. Um, and healthy bolognese. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you are wearing your shirt backwards. I know, right? But it's not. This is actually the style. I've actually had some people tell me like, oh, you got your shirt backwards. It's actually the style. Like, uh, see the tag. <laughs> for six minutes. Okay, six minutes of counting. I'm gonna put the end more salt and pepper. See, I'm like, oh no, in case anyone wants to see coming attractions. Uh, oh, thank you, Alan, thank you, I try. That's funny, <laughs> it is. Um. gotta go by was oh bye Alan nice to see you are you the original salt bay I don't know what that is the potatoes are finally boiling I don't know why it took so long also I just noticed my oven stove top, I mean, has a simmer option. So like the other cooking thing I did when it said a simmer, apparently I just pushed the simmer button or something. I don't know. So now I know that I, that's what I, what it says simmer to push that button, I guess. <laughs> Summer's just lower than low than low temp. Okay. Oh, I'm already out. Don't hate me. 
Don't hate me. It's ready? Okay. I'll take a sip first. The potatoes are taking a while for some reason. Okay, so now I can add the tomato paste. flour. Set a timer for one minute. Pour one cup, one half cup water in the pan with beef mixture. very thick. One, two, two minutes. A lot, or, hey Siri, set timer for two minutes. Okay, two minutes and counting. All right. Ah, exactly, Anti, that's exactly it. Aw, NJ, for four days. Uh, for real, so does me. It is, it's so bad for you, but hey, you know what? Thank you. Aw, oh, looking good. Yes. I feel, I'm feeling good about this one. Aw, oh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. So. Put 
potatoes done yet? Ooh, I think the potatoes are done. Let's go back to the potatoes. Place potatoes in medium pot with enough salt. Drain and return point. That's weird. I'll be home in a minute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's funny. No promises. Um. Okay, so I need to drain the potatoes, I guess. How many minutes? Like, this is just like a minute left. And then I can drain the potatoes, I guess. Powder. Is, did I miss the garlic powder somewhere? Where did I miss the garlic powder? Okay. Where am I supposed to put the gar garlic powder at? Stirring garlic powder. Where? Oh, in the time. Wait, okay. Well, potatoes cook heat, drizzle oil. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Um, and carrot, I did that. Cook stirring until veggies are just tender. Okay, I'm supposed to put in the garlic and <laughs> the thyme. Okay, I guess I can do that now. Because, whoopsie. That was the previous step. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine, maybe. I think I saved that one. <laughs> We're right in the house. Mono, hello. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, can I at least get a play? I'll be, I promise. You can, you can. I'll be back. I'll be home in a minute. That's so funny. Um, love that smile. It's fine, it's fine. Um, it's a, I need a break again. <laughs> I need to transfer it to the thing now. Okay, yeah, I need to transfer it to this thing now. Okay, gonna transfer it from that one to this one now. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna have a proper shepherd's pie. How exciting. Never had one before, actually. Let alone make one. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious I haven't made anything <laughs> until now. It's 7 30 in Thailand. What time? It, right now, it is 7 30 p.m. So you're like a full like opposite end of me on my way where am I going just follow your nose all right so now that I got that in the pan um fill it oh I need to do the potatoes 
potatoes, drain and trim potatoes, the pot mashed with sour cream, I think I have a masher, I never knew what it was, but I have one, well I had one, maybe I don't, I swear I had one, I think I probably didn't know what it was, or would never probably use it, so like maybe tossed it? I don't know. I know I had one, I remember seeing it. I don't think I have a masher. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> You. I love it. I would love for anybody to make me food other than myself. <laughs> this is out of desperation, not fun. <laughs> I swear I had a masher somewhere. I think at some point maybe. I tossed it, but I didn't know what to do with it. I never thought I would use it or something. So, what do I use instead to mash? Big fork. Watching Pika cook you. <laughs> cream soda in Thailand. Ooh, really? It, that's interesting. Okay, so I also need to add the cream so or cream soda. <laughs> like cream sour cream. Sour cream, and then I need to get butter. Um, two tablespoons. Who wants to guess what I did wrong? <laughs> I swear. Okay. So I was supposed to put two teaspoons of chopped thyme in the meat stuff. And um, I put all of it in, then I was supposed to put the rest in the potatoes. <laughs> Maybe I can scrape some of them <laughs> left on the table here. <laughs> Just the little leftovers. <laughs> I got a little bit left. <laughs> it just has extra flavor. I have like dried thyme, but it's not like the fresh thyme, you know? Ouch. I mean, I guess I'll try putting the dried thyme in there. I don't know if that's gonna. I'll just put a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> All right, now just smash. Just 
supposed to smash it, right? Yeah. So I wish I had the smashy. I have the smashy somewhere. I just don't know. I know I had it at some point. Then I guess add some salt. I'm supposed to season generously with salt and pepper. Okay. All right. Oh, how <clears throat> to look? A regular fork might be easier. Well, I just felt like a bigger fork would get the job done faster. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can back check it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Again, any gifts you guys send me helps to fund my future DoorDash deliveries. So I don't have to do this anymore. Okay, so I feel like that's good. So yeah, that's that's solid. Okay, next is top beef filling with an even layer of mashed potatoes, leaving a half inch border around edge of pan, evenly sprinkled with cheddar cheese. Okay, so I'm just gonna plop this in the center there. Spread it out a bit. Oh, you guys can't see. Hold on. Oh, thank you for the gifts. All oh, the planets. Thank you. Ooh, it's increasing my my uh, rank. Thank you. Thank you, Pixie. Um, she's not falling. Failing, stop being negative. Wait, who said I'm failing? Because I definitely am. <laughs> NJ, thank you for the planets. Let's see. Ooh, that's like boosting me up. I'm at 6,100 points now on the contest thing. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I wonder if I'll be able to like, I'm going to have to start doing a lot more lives to try to rank up and see what I can get. That's exciting. Thank you guys so much. Um, learning you are doing more than most people do. I mean, I don't know if I would say that, but I am learning. I'm learning that I definitely do not like cooking. <laughs> but then I can. But I, but I truly think that, like, the only reason I'm able to continuously cook is because you guys are, like, here to keep me company. <laughs> Jump into success. Aw, so that's so positive of you. Thank you for that. Like, I would not be eating this well if it wasn't for you guys so thank you for being here like this really actually does help keep me motivated to keep going <laughs> not even lying a second for a second okay then like the cheese was on top i mean if there's cheese like this on here then it must be good I'm 
excited. Um, broil until browned, three to four minutes. Okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for four minutes. Okay. Oh, thank you for the rose. Thank you, Franco. Yes, it's always more fun. Way. It is. It is. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the follow. Um, I appreciate that so much, and I'm really excited. I hope I can. I mean, it's definitely like a ways to get there, but the uh, points thing, like by sending the uh, planets and the um, astronauts, are like boosting up this points ranking thing, and. Um, it's fun. <laughs> so thank you for those. I like them a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, Pixie, thank you so much. You are so sweet. Thank you for sending all of those. I so appreciate it. Oh no, we're kicking Steel City. Um, I actually just finished. I put it in the oven. Um, and I used all the ingredients. Didn't miss anything this time. Oh, we well, kind of did, but you, we fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, yeah, I'll free up the rest of my day. <laughs> I'm honestly trying to hurry because I'm trying to be done by 8 to join my friends on Twitch stream for a, a game that we're playing. Um, I am attempting to cook pub style shepherd's pie. So <laughs> I'll free up the rest of my day. Honestly, that's the truth. That is the truth, right? Jesse's cooking. I'll, I'll free, I'll clear my calendar. <laughs> for the whole day. <laughs> That's amazing. So accurate. Um, I guess I can. So I can tell that my um, iron or my vitamin deficiencies are getting better with the medicine they gave me on or put me on. Cause like I'm actually, I was just able to like clean up while I'm cooking, which I haven't been able to do that in a while. So like things like that are like, give me hope that I'm starting to get back to normal and healthy again. I'm sure it will be great. Oh, thank you, Pixie. Um, when is the next cooking? Um, my next delivery of, of the HelloFresh is this Thursday. So <laughs> I actually have never had shepherd's pie before, so I don't know what I'm in for. Thank you. You seem really good today. Yeah. I mean, I feel good, even though I did sleep till like two, you know, but I, again, I did get home and I had a long day yesterday again as well. But, um, yeah, I feeling like more myself. I was able to like do my dishes, like two rounds of dishes that I needed to go do for a while and clean up my house. Cause you know, when you just don't have the energy and I, I like to keep my house clean, you know, I just not like, not like OCD about it, but I like to have a nice house clean and, um, and, uh, I like to be proud of it when I have people over. And I just have not been able to. I just I've been barely able to take care of myself when it was really bad. I just the I had such severely severely low vitamin D levels, and I didn't realize that that's that can cause such extreme fatigue. So the fact that like um, this Wednesday is going to be my fifth dose of the vitamin uh, booster. So hopefully that'll continue more and more. Um, <laughs> for you. I feel you. Yeah, so I'm really excited that, you know, that I'm able to do this, and I'm really proud of myself for pushing myself, despite being in the midst of my severe fatigue from, like, extremely severe low vitamin deficiencies, and, like, I don't know, I, I just, I'm proud of myself for still doing stuff, um, and stuff that, like, I, that's good for me, like, cooking a healthy meal, you know? Um, well, at least I think it's healthy, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Frank, what are you saying? Weekly top one. Okay, I guess it's done. Okay. This smells really good. Okay. And that's it. You guys. 
I just finished. Thanks for joining. Yes, P Pixie, thank you so much. Um, so I think it turned out well. Hold on, let me show you guys. Let me, let me swap the camera. So, I think it turned out well. So, yay. It's browned, I think, a little bit, like, right there. Um, I put it in for how long it said to, and it has some brown on it. I think it's fine. So this is Pub's White Horse. Hello, uh, <gasps> Breezy, hello. Um, I mean, everything's cooked in it, so, like, it's, you know, I don't know. Fine, I'll put it back in. Hold on. I don't know if I have one, it's set to. Go shorty, it's your birthday. <laughs> how are we not friends yet? Seriously, how? Um, it's cheese. Yeah, it's potatoes, mashed potatoes with seasoning and stuff in them, and cheese. So, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I'm currently at, I burnt my cinnamon rolls today. I'm, no, that's so terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm currently at 6,240 out of 25,000 points I need from the planet, planet gifts and astronaut gifts for, during the live. Because apparently I get ranked and I get like a gift card from TikTok if I reach like the next rank. I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Yeah. Follow each other, man. Oh, the devilish! I love it! I love it! How much does Tom Brady pay to get them ears pierced? What? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, follow each other, dude. Just giving me stuff. <laughs> Buccaneer, that's funny. Now that I know how planets work, I'll save them up. <laughs> nice! Um, okay, so, ah, I mean, I think it's fine, you know, oh, you sneaky, <laughs> another, ah, <gasps> the astronaut, oh, dang, that boosted up, like, I'm at 12,000 now, and I just need 25,000, that, like, completely brought me like halfway like more than halfway that's crazy that was so cool too thank you white hearts oh, I think you'd be easy for the flowers I love them that is so crazy oh planets I like the planets that's 299 coins oh damn dang what else do you need for the challenge? Um, as far as I understand, it's brand new. I just got on my live for the cooking thing, and I saw it in the corner, and I poked at it, and it told me the instructions, and it just says um, the, that for gifts, it's like I get points, but whenever I get planets or the astronaut, it gives me bonus points. Like, the astronaut's, like, obviously the most points, because I he just sent that, and that, like, doubled my score that I was at. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's good now. Um, oh, I saw the astronaut. I just saw it. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm at 18,000. This is crazy. I wonder what happens. Um, I wonder what happens. So it's 18,000. I need 25,000 total to get to the next rank. Points needed for ranking 11 something. I can't. I couldn't tell what it was. I'm at junior crew person. That's like the first level. Points needed for ranking uh, 1 million 130. Or I can't remember if I right. I don't know, but I figured weightless spacewalk would help. It does. I've shown it's a little crispy, still brown. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't know, 113,000 to rank up or something. And I saw like TikTok will give you like a $60 gift card for like the first rank or something like that. I don't know. 
Um, so like instead of so it's like instead of them taking like half percent, like in the end, like if I make enough, like I kind of get a bigger percentage versus like a per, like a small percentage um, of the gifts. I just bought one for a few more. Yeah, I I just did. I just I took it out again. It's fine. Yeah, I mean it's like it's crispy. Ish. <laughs> All right, so. Time to see what it tastes like. Well, I mean, it's, it, there's brown on it though, and it's kind of yellowish now. So, um, I think I'll eat this with a bowl. Dr. Pepper cream soda. It is. It's been. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> All right. So, I guess I'll use this. It's a salad spoon, but it's all. Oh no, I can do this. It's mine as well. It is. Okay, so. Let's see how I did. I mean, the fact that it has all this cheese on it, I think I'm going to be okay. I'll like it, I, I'll like it either way. So. We'll see. How have you been? Hi, hi, Tony. I've been doing okay. I'm trying to get more and more energy back from the vitamin D deficiency I was dealing with. Um, so it's starting to feel better. Um, I'm an 18,360 junior crew person for the space cadet <laughs> competition going on on TikTok Live right now. They just had to stop in and say hello to my two favorite... My ladies, Franco and Bingo. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's funny. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm going to be getting on uh, Twitch soon. If my friends are able to wait for me, then I'm going to be playing a game with them. But if not, then I'll just be playing my own game. Because <laughs> I took a little bit longer to make the food. Um, let me take a bite once it cools down a bit. Goodness, <laughs> I was wondering when uh, Frank was going to see that. That's funny. <laughs> How was my weekend? It was good. It was good. I slept a lot, though. Um, but I got to, do, got to do some Halloween dress-up time, so let's see what this tastes like. Ooh, 18,360. So I just need, like, uh, 7,000 more points. Bye. Um. <laughs> there I go. Now I'm gonna stool. This is really good, guys. Like, I've never had shepherd's pie before. <gasps> NJ, thank you. Thank you for all the planets. Ooh. At 18,420 now. Going from food food topic. Lies! Welcome, welcome. I just finished making shepherd's pie, pub style shepherd's pie for the first time. And I just took my first bite. I'm not a cook. So this is like world's worst cooks cooking. I'll say it's pretty good. It's good. The seasoning is perfect. I approve. I approve. I like it. And it feels healthy, you know? <gasps> Matthew, thank you for the panda. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you for the Jupiter. I'm needing those planets and astronaut. I'm so close to reaching the next uh, rank on the competition thing going on. Explain the flavors you're experiencing. Oh, God. Um... Well, pretty much I'm tasting all the flavors of all the ingredients. <laughs> um, I could taste the potatoes. I could taste the salt. The cheese is delicious, of course. Um, I could taste the, the vegetables. <laughs> there was a carrot right there. Yep. 
tastes like a carrot. The cheese is the best part. <laughs> so far, so far. I've only had two meals. There's other food on there that I don't like. And, like, the food that I do like on there, that, like, they have an upcharge because it's, like, higher quality stuff, I guess. Or whatever. Um, which I think is kind of, like, not cool. But there's a couple of, you know, these two I would say I would order again. Or, um, yeah. But I will say, I am learning some things, you know? So that's good. You know, it's like empowering. That I won't completely be useless and not be able to survive on my own. <laughs> I say yes. It's really good. I can taste the garlic seasoning. I like it. And the beef beef broth flavor is really good without being overpowering. I wonder if this bonus thing on my live, I guess you guys can't see it, the ranking, I wonder if it has to, if it restarts each live or if it just continues from each live. Hopefully it continues, because that would just makes sense. So I'm at 18,420 points now. Interesting. doing now I'm enjoying this this is really good I honestly wasn't expecting to like it and I definitely have leftovers <laughs> like I'm full from that and I and I have that much left still so this will last me a few days <laughs> and honestly I don't mind you know it would make good leftovers I think too so yes I give it a thumbs up the instructions could have been easier to understand, though. <laughs> I'm hungry. Come over. I have lots. All left over. I made a pub-style shepherd's pie. It's the first time I've ever had shepherd's pie. And it's really, really rather good. And I made it successfully too. And in record time. Guys, I think I finished this in like an hour, hour and a half. That's really good time for me. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm nice and full now. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to end this live and then I'm going to set up my stream, Twitch streaming, and then I'll be back on here as well because I'm going to dual stream again. <clears throat> so come say hi in probably like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. I'll have it all set up and ready to go. I'm going to see if my friends are playing that game if I could join in or not. And if not, then I'll just play my own game. Okay, on my way. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hugs. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Next, and we're going to be doing Twitch Twitch game. Hopefully I can uh, sneak in with my friends that are playing because it's a really hilarious game to play. If I could figure out how to connect it to my streaming. Yeah. So, all right. Be back soon. If I can stop burping. <laughs>